How are we on battery? Good. We're good? Okay. Should I look at you? Me, me, me. Okay. Yeah. Let's take my ID. Yeah. No, you're good. So, kind of help. Oh, are we starting? Okay, okay, wait, start, we do that. Okay. What's your name? My name's Amanda. Mauricio Barba da Costa. Antonella. Sean Patrick. Kara. Aaron Zigala. What's your major? Uh, math. Major is biological sciences. Started off as chemistry first, then I took chem two, <laughs> then I changed it to bio. I'm a biology major. Biology. Biology. Political science. I'm, I'm majoring political science, but I'm thinking of double majoring in marketing. International business with a minor in Spanish. How did you hear about a few high? So I've went to Henderson since fourth grade when I first transferred in. So it was, it was kind of a given. <laughs> Oh, I didn't hear about it at all. My mother heard about it. <laughs> I think my dad heard about it from someone and then he told me about it. Mm -hmm. Um, My friend heard about it and she was like, oh my God, try to get in with me. She didn't get in, I did. My mom actually told me about it. Yeah, one of her friends uh, was enrolled, said they could complete college while they were there in high school uh, and they pay for it. So I was like, why not? <laughs> Me, personally, I'm a first-generation student, so like, me, my mom or dad, they, they didn't go to college. So like, I knew like, I'm going to college. <laughs> what was your first impression when you saw your classmates? What our grade was going to be like? That we were a bunch of geeks. Like, I thought I was out of place. I thought I was stupid. Ugly. <laughs> oh my gosh! I kind of fed into the notion that like, everyone here was a nerd. Honestly, I, I was like, these are some, you know, like, there's some students, right? There's some really <laughs> smart people. Like, these kids try. Tell me about ninth grade for you. What was that like? Okay. Um, I think from all the years, definitely the most complicated. I remember walking in, and it was like, I was like, this is the high school, okay? Or where's the other buildings? I don't want to say that it was small, but it was I small. yeah, it was, it was small. small. Um, it was you know, I bet a lot of people are going to be talking about Clevenger's class and stuff because that was <laughs> it's just a lot of work, right? Especially with with you know, the threat of a world history pop quiz looming over you every single day. <laughs> yeah, that was um, like the death of me. That was, I remember that was cruel. I used to have a lot of fun in his class, probably a lot more fun than I should have. Uh, he, he had to start a system on the whiteboard. Oh man, my mom's gonna be watching this. Clevy. Yeah, he and I played Overwatch. Really? Definitely include that in the I will. video. Yeah. Right. During during class, you would write your name up with a tally mark, and uh, he he said if you get five tally marks, that was a uh, a referral or something. I don't really remember what it is. The Miss Baker's class. I love Miss Baker's class. That was, and I I still owe her two drawings. But um, the it was I love the stories that we covered. I learned a lot, and I, it was a really. I think she's up there with one of my favorite English teachers I've had before. I definitely disliked Miss Baker um, <laughs> during my uh, ninth grade. I think it was uh, it was it was such a like a wake up call. Yeah, all of those what were they called? Curse words? I don't even remember. Cursed words like, or something? No, no words. No, no words. No, no words. That was it. I mean, Clevy is a great teacher. Uh, uh, Miss Tomorrow when she was here, unfortunately, I guess she isn't teaching math anymore. Great teacher. I took algebra two mm -hmm. with Miss Tamar. And I took a test, and she's like, oh, I know you studied, you could do better than this, whatever. And so she let me take it again, and I studied a bunch, and I did worse the second time. Mr. Mars' class is like, it's like sneaky, like you think there's not going to be that much work, and then all of a sudden, so much work. Like all the Alex stuff. I didn't finish Alex. Oh. Well, I never did. I did, so. <laughs> the latest I stayed up, I think, was four to finish the Alex for Mr. Mars' class. <laughs> we do Algebra 2 homework together. And you know, that work we put it probably finished in like an hour or two. We did it together and like made sure we all understood it though. Every single person in like a 10 person Skype call. So that takes us probably like four hours alone. I actually really enjoyed Miss Marcus's class. Oh really? Uh, I got like one of those rubber duckies. Oh. Um, yeah. And I remember um, we would make this sound, right? It goes like <laughs> And like nobody would know how we do it, right? <laughs> so, um, so I remember we would do it, right? Like, because we, we were messing around. So we would just mess around with Miss Barkis. Mm -hmm. And Miss Barkis would be like, 
Who, who was that? And then. Um, do you remember when she brought in the chicks? Yeah, I, I helped so with those. Cute. Those were awesome. Yeah. Just oh, yeah. do with that. Actually, I'm sorry, Miss Marquez, if if you're seeing this. And how has FAU High led you to become the person you are today? Slash, how have you changed since freshman year? <clears throat> so I think one of the biggest changes I've gone through is the way I look at the world and how I think. A different side of you is mature, being able to handle all these tasks and responsibilities and choosing such like important things like a major in your career path at such a young age. You don't know whether it's the right thing for you. You're like, yeah. classes are getting challenging and you're like, do I really want like, like this class? Do I think it's going to be something that I'll want to do in the future? So I took that class, like excited about it, and I saw the rate my professor was saying like, oh, he's hard, blah, blah, blah. And then I get into class the first week, he's talking about if you want an easy A, get out of my class, drop my class. And like I was contemplating dropping class, but I'm like, no, I'm gonna get better as a writer. I'm just not as scared of things. Like, I was so scared to fail when I came into ninth grade. I was like, oh my God, I'm gonna get a C in history. And I was like terrified. But like, I failed a few times. And now I'm not scared of it anymore because I know that like you just pick yourself up and you just keep going and everything turns out fine. I got better at writing and then he was reading my writing and it meant a lot to me because like people weren't getting A's in that class. People were getting C's and D's on their essays and he's he was looking at my essays and he was like, you should become an English major, blah, blah, and telling me all that. And I'm like, yeah, I kind of really like it. So that's kind of when I made the jump over to English. So when someone told you that you can do it and that you deserve to be doing it? Oh, when you explain it like that, <laughs> when you say it like that, um, yeah, I guess. I guess I kind of like needed that push to like jump and be like, yeah, you should do English because otherwise I don't think I would have done it. I've never thought of English as like a legitimate major for some reason. I really don't know why. I think FAU High just has made me more capable has made me more confident in my own abilities and it just makes me realize that I'm more than my grades and it just I don't know I think it's helped me just make a clear path of what I want to do and how I want to get there what's your plan for after high school graduation after high school graduation I hope to be doing an internship um, I'm ready to graduate. I'm actually graduating with my bachelor's degree like a week or so before my high school diploma. Um, and then after that, I kind of want to take a gap year to focus on myself um, and just get ready for med school since we're since I'm graduating at such a young age. I may stay here at FAU for one more year, like a lot of people are, and then you know transfer to like graduate school or medical school. I am going to stay here for like around two years or so and then uh, apply to law school and see see if I can go up north. Hopefully med school the year after that but I'm also considering like a gap year where I do like research or like volunteer outreach work so we'll see. Yeah so do you have like a biggest fear for after graduation? Yeah <laughs> um, if I stay at FAU and like I graduate with a degree in neuroscience I'm not sure what I want to do with that. You know, because I'm like, oh, it's free education, it's free education. What happens when I don't like my degree mm -hmm. and want a different education? I graduate and then I uh, go to law school and then I graduate law school and then I become a lawyer and then I figure out that I never really wanted to be a lawyer. My career that I'm going to be spending my whole life doing is just coming closer and closer. And, and my education that's been like fostering me as a little baby for my whole life is coming to an end. Is my job just gonna be all of my clients being sent back to Venezuela all the time? Is, uh, so that's, that's another thing I worry about, not, not just the money, even though it doesn't really pay a lot because not a lot of these people have a ton of money. But who's gonna be there if you're not there? That's what I, right? In terms of what you're doing now, you're doing it for success. Yeah, in a sense, yeah, for sure. So what do you define as success? I don't want to say money. Well, money, it's, 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 it's important, right? Because you need money to survive, have a family and stuff. And I'd say it's like 60% money, 
40% happiness. In a broader sense, I would define success as being content. Making a good impact on as many people's lives as I can, which is why I'm attracted to, uh, you know, like immigration law. I want to have an impact on them, even if I might not have a remembrance. Is being remembered important to you? Not really. No. I could be the I could be forgotten completely, but as long as that I made an impact, I'm happy. Have you enjoyed your time in FAU? Absolutely. Nice. Luckiest person alive to be here. <laughs> no, I'm really happy that I came here. Thanks. Yeah. Well, then if you don't have any like last things to say, we're done. Go owls. <laughs> My favorite spot was the fifth floor, but then we got kicked out. <laughs> filthy yeah. Frank, listen, the I did the, game that was Frank. the culture. That was the culture at the time. Oh, like season start delicious. That's gross. Mm -hmm. Ew, that's so gross. <laughs> like one, two, three. Before. Are you kidding know. me, man? Do you have a black coffee or something, you know? You drink black coffee? Sometimes, yeah. My best friends. <laughs> then we met at FU High. I like the way you talk. Thank you. I just ramble until I find the end it's of the calm, sentence. It's calm but distinguished. Thank you. No, right? No. Okay, well then. Okay. <laughs> you want someone coming in? Yeah, I have Chiton next.